My customers are employees of Chandler and also the citizens of Chandler. Good customer service is when you know that they went the extra effort, that, that they went the extra mile for you. They did what, what you asked of them, but then they did even more, truly showing that, hey, I really do care about what you're saying, and then finding a, some resolve for them. Whether you've probably heard it a hundred times from an employee or a citizen before, even if you already know what the problem is and they're saying, no, I really think that it is, you just hear them out and then you, you say, okay, and then you take care of it. My customers actually are from probably newborn to 101, so every day is a little bit different. Sometimes I might be the very first person that they've ever talked to at the police department or with the city for that matter. And so it is about building that relationship, them knowing uh, either through verbal or nonverbal communication um, that I am listening, that I'm engaged, and what they are saying to me does matter. I always leave them knowing that I am their contact in the city. I give them my business card or I tell them there's not many Robins in the city, so uh, give me a call. You know my name, give me a call if you have any issues, any concerns, any um, questions. Our customers are all road users. To me, motorists, bicyclists, pedestrians, um, anybody that uses a road in Chandler, so it's not just residents. I always try to, to get to know them, whether I'm talking to them and say Mrs. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so, and, and let them know that I'm truly listening and hear their problem. I always try to communicate back to make sure I understand. This is my understanding of what's happening or what the situation is. Just let them know that I will get back to you, that I will find the answer, I will do the research, and I will respond via email or I will give you a call back. Or if I'm not the right person, let me find the number for you. Let me find who you need to talk to so I'm not transferring you around and you get lost in a circle. We get a lot of interesting calls, a lot of interesting projects, and it's fun to be out there and see what kind of good things we can do for residents. Well, when I make first contact with them, I, I want to make sure I tell the customer that I know what's going on to start with. I want to tell them why I'm coming there, you know, who sent me here. I like to make sure that I, I get all the facts again. I like to make the customer feel like they're confident. They're confident in my ability to help them. I wanted them to know that once I get this concern, you know, it's going to be resolved. If it's not going to be resolved by me, it's going to be resolved by somebody else. And I will follow up with them. I want that connection to be great. After you introduce yourself, um, have done the formal introductions, go on a first name basis. We're all in such a go-go environment. Just slow down, take the time, talk to the person, listen. Um, and if it takes a few extra minutes, take those few extra minutes. I will not transfer a phone call beyond me if, I've, if they've been transferred to me. Take their name and number, make sure you understand what their question is or their concern, and make sure that you call them back with a timeline. Always give them a timeline that you're gonna get back to them. The transfer stops at me. I work with residents quite often, residents and business owners, but it's truly just everyone that I encounter. As long as I'm wearing this logo, the same courtesy and kindness that I would give a resident and the business owners, I'm always going to be giving to everyone else as well. Typically when someone's upset, if they're angry with the situation, I, I try to be as understanding as possible. I listen to what they have to say, and I always try to turn it around because I always say we have to get to the win back. We gotta win them back, and we're gonna make sure that they are happy or satisfied to the best of my ability, and um, they feel like they got some resolution. You're just not a person to serve the residents of Chandler and the business owners of Chandler. You're here to truly serve everyone you interact with. So keeping customer service and its importance at the forefront of our minds, I think, is going to take us a long way. Making the connection is building good relationships. Going the extra mile for the customer. Listening and truly hearing what that person has to say. Letting the employee or the citizen know that they're number one. Genuinely caring about the person that you're talking to. Taking a couple extra minutes slowing down the time that you spend with that customer 
and making sure they have a positive outcome.